a few of you out here tonight have seen me in concert before. Wow, that was a lot of you. Well, thank you for coming back. I missed you terribly. And, uh, you know, I feel like maybe there's also a slight chance that some of you have never seen me in concert before. or something since we have so many new people here. I'm Taylor. It's very nice to meet you. I'm going to give you a bit of a heads up about this show. You're going to see one particular color more than all of the other colors. And so if you find yourself wondering what is this fixation on the one color, tell you if you want. I mean... Okay, so basically, I spend a lot of time writing songs, thinking about feelings and or emotions, slash life experiences, slash more feelings and emotions. And when I'm writing songs, I try to figure out ways to compare how I'm feeling to other things, like analogies and metaphors. So, in the last couple of years when I was writing my newest album, I started to compare what I was feeling to colors. For example, in my mind, blue was sadness, and, and, and gray would be loneliness. Uh, but there was one color in particular that really represented the kinds of emotions that I was writing songs about. sorts of things. And I realize that my album deals in emotional extremes. What I mean by that, St. Paul, is that you got lots of songs about falling in love and how awesome that is. And then you have lots of songs about breakups and how terrible that is. So, you know, you're dealing with kind of intense emotions, like the and terrible and it falls apart and he's like, I need space and I'm like, that's fine, I'll just write a whole album about you and never talk to you again. So, discussing these types of emotions, these are, I think you would probably agree with me, the more intense, crazy emotions that kind of make you feel like you're losing your mind a little bit. Those are the emotions that have to do with falling in love and losing love, having to say goodbye to someone. And we all go through it, and these emotions are very difficult to get through, difficult to verbalize. But I feel like if you can get through them, if you can move on from them, those are the emotions that teach you the lessons you're supposed to learn in life in order to become who you're supposed to be someday. Those are the tough lessons that you have to learn in order to become better and stronger. And, um, I don't know if you're on the same page with me about this, I'm just checking. But for me, if I had to put a particular color to represent the emotions that go into falling in love and losing it. Those amazing, incredible, wonderful, terrible, awful, sad, beautiful, tragic emotions that we all go through. The color that I would pick to represent those emotions would be bright, burning, red, 